How I got into running is because of my mom. Um, she started running, uh, then naturally I started running with her. Uh, when I have a hard day, a hard week, uh, when I'm running, I, I don't think about anything. I just, I just relax and I'm in the zone. Before my injury, I was always training and racing for triathlons and going to the lake and wakeboarding. I hurt my foot doing something I've done for the last 20 years, which was wakeboarding. And I fell, I hit the wake too hard, and I knew instantly this, is, this hurts. At that moment, after work, I was like, I'm going to doc, I'm going to direct orthopedic care. Uh, I just knew that that place could help me out being a sports type of injury. Once I was told I need to get an MRI, I asked if I could see one today. And a little jokingly, I was like, I need to see one today. So I saw an MRI that day at 10 p.m. at night. They, they made it happen. Two days later, I um, saw the doctor, the surgeon, Dr. Sateish. So Sonny had a Lis Frank injury, which is a, uh, a ligament tear in the midfoot. Sonny is a high-end athlete. athlete. He does triathlons, he runs, he's very active, he cycles, he swims. So for someone like him, it can be quite debilitating, especially if it becomes chronic. Once I found out how bad this injury could be, uh, I was freaking out. I might be down for a long time, and I need to trust the plan. Um, you know, I get two surgeries, some hardware put in, some hardware removed. I don't know what to do mentally. How am I going to handle all this? Uh, he assured me that he's going to help get me, get me going quicker than not. You know, if you can trust in the plan, the team will make it happen. I would say a big part of my job is setting expectations and tempering expectations. You have a lot of moving parts and a lot of personalities. The actual surgical part only takes a few hours, but the real hard work starts with the rehab and the therapy for the guests. It's a, um, a very multidisciplinary approach between the surgeon, the MAs, and the physical therapist, but I think that as the uh, head of the team in some regards, uh, you set the tone and you set the example. So if your team sees you with a certain level of intensity and a certain level of um, compassion and care, they'll follow suit and I think that's very important. What I've learned a lot is to trust the system. There's a method to the madness how everything was prescribed and it worked and I was ahead of schedule, I'm feeling strong. So showing up for my first race was a little different from most. Uh, you know, I had a long recovery, very challenging. You know, it was eight months, two surgeries later, six weeks of actual training. So my nerves were just everywhere. <laughs> this is the test. This is my first actual race run test. And, I, and it felt great. The second the race was over, the first thing they do is uh, they give you your medal, your finisher medal. And this is something that meant more to me than any other race because of, you know, going through everything I went through. So but I had my first meeting with Dr. Satayash on Friday. So just about one week after my race and he needed to know all the issues, right? Any, any issues, what's going on? And he doesn't know, but I brought my medal with me, you know? And second he walked in, I gave it to him because it wasn't just me that ran the race. We finished it, and I told him we finished the race. And he's been with me this whole journey, right? From the second appointment, after my MRI, my first surgery, my second surgery, all this ray was him. Him pushing me as much as I need to be pushed. I was, uh, I was so proud of him. Obviously, it's a lot of work as an athlete. You know that when you have an injury, it, it takes a lot of work to get back to the same level that you were. So um, it's really a testament to his um, commitment to recovery and um, overall the team working together to get him to his goals. As an injured athlete, what you need to have is a place that will match your energy and that can treat a sports injury. And no, there's no other place like Doc. I just want to tell the whole team at Dog, thank you um, for being with me the entire time. Um, always, always make me feel good. My goal was to finish. Walk it, or however it did, but I didn't have to walk it. I was able to run every step, the entire race, and I wasn't last. Like, I finished the race and I wasn't last. <laughs>